going on, world? I am DJ Swaver, and I want to welcome you all to another episode of Ottoman Box Openings. Today, we're going to do it a little bit different. I got a box opening that I'm going to do at the end of this video that I'm pretty excited about, but I really wanted to share with y'all my top five pickups of 2016. 2016 was a crazy year in the sneaker game. We saw a lot of heat from Adidas. We saw some clean retros from Nike come back out. Seems like we've seen more collabs in 2016 than we've ever seen in the sneaker game. On this last day of 2016, I can't help but reminisce on all the sneakers I was able to pick up but I still also remember all the L's I took on sneakers too. The thing about the sneaker game today is that if you take an L one weekend, there's probably going to be some heat coming out the next weekend. 2016 was a great year, but on December 31st, 2016, I can't help but think about what's going to happen on January 1st, 2017 and beyond. Is Adidas going to keep chipping away at Nike's sneaker crown, or is Nike going to make a huge comeback in 2017? Are sneaker brands like Saucony, Diodora, Asics, New Balance going to get more love that they definitely deserve. One thing is for sure, 2017 is shaping up to be crazy. We've already seen a lot of new colorways that are gonna be on the Adidas Ultra Boost 3.0. We just came out with a new NMDR2. I'm anxious to see what kind of collabs and what new colorways they can do with that model. We've already seen that the OG Nike phone posit it's gonna come back out in 2017. Are phones really dead? Or are we just waiting for original colorways to come back out? So on this last day of 2016, I'm thankful for all the W's I was able to get. I'm appreciative of all the losses I took, but most of all, I thank the man on high to be able to make it through this year and see another day. Enough about all that. Let's get to my top five pickups of the year. And here are my top five pickups for 2016. The first four are in no particular order, but that number one sneaker, there was no doubt it was gonna be number one. First shoe in my top five for 2016 is the Adidas Ultra Boost limited cream colorway. This one has the continental sole, but it had the 1.0 gradient. This Ultra Boost was one of the harder colorways to pick up this year. I mean, this shoe was selling out instantly every time a boutique put a link up or posted on their Instagram that they were selling, had this shoe in stock. Most boutiques did in-store releases, but I was able to get these online from Feature out of Las Vegas. I wear this shoe at least two or three times a month. It's, it's comfortable. The cream colorway goes with damn near anything. And this is a sneaker that I will never let go. This is my first sneaker in my top five of 2016, the Adidas Ultra Boost Limited in the cream colorway. The next sneaker in my top five for 2016 needs no introduction. You see that toe box and you already know what it is. This is the Ronnie Fogg and A6 Gel Light 3 Salmon Toe. I'm still kind of shocked I was able to get these online. Most of the time, Kith releases something online and sells out pretty much instantly. But those random links, man, they need to do those more in 2017 to give people like me a chance that don't have bots. Those random drops are what help people like me get sneakers. I was just on it. That one day just happened to be on my phone. And then I got a post notification through Kith that they were had released this online and I hopped on it super fast. I think they sold out in less than a minute. This is definitely one of my grails. If not a grail in my sneaker collection, it is definitely an Asics grail. It's not much to say about this shoe, but damn. This is my next top five sneaker of 2016. The Asics collab with Ronnie Five on the Gel Light 3, the Salmon Toe. The next sneaker in my top five, I just did a video with that. I'll post a link so you can go see that video. It is the 24 Kaladis collab with Extra Large and Diodora on the N9000, the Copito. I mean, this shoe is definitely super clean. It will not be getting any wear till 2017, that's a fact. This is definitely a spring shoe. Still kind of confused why they came out with this colorway in the winter, but whatever. I'm thankful. It's a super dope shoe. Rare, I do not think they're gonna have a wider release, but I wouldn't be shocked if they had a wider release in 2017. I hope not because I wanna feel like I have a super rare sneaker, but if they come out again, I, I hope you're able to cop. This is definitely a dope shoe. The suede and materials is on point. The colorway is clean. You can't go wrong with pink in my eye. This shoe was definitely the best Diodora of the year, hands down, not even a question about it. So I'm glad I was able to cop this in 2016. Once again, the next shoe of my top five of 2016 is this 24 Kaladis collab with Extra Large and Diodora on the N9000, the Copito. The next sneaker in my top five pickups for 2016 is this Ronnie Five collab with New Balance on a 997.5 model. This shoe was called the Cyclades. It was the second shoe in the Mykonos pack. There's a 
blue colorway that's all blue up that's blue all navy blue all over but this one was definitely the best shoe in that pack again this is another spring colorway that i have not even worn yet you still see the new balance tag on it it is not getting worn till spring of 2017 but since it came out in 2016 and it's probably one of the dopest new balance this year it's getting in this top five even if i haven't worn it 2016 was a good year for new balance and i'm excited to see what they do in 2017 as far as general releases and collabs Whew, this one is a beast i'm not gonna lie to you that great sway that Ronnie Fire collabs always have. He always comes out with a pastel like colors. I mean, geez, you can't go wrong with this shoe. That is why it is one of my personal top five pickups of 2016. This is the new balance collab with Ronnie Fog on a 997.5 model called the Cyclades. I've seen enough previews of this shoe to know this is gonna be my number one shoe pickup for 2016. Y'all probably already know what this is. There's a million reviews of this shoe out online already, so I'm not gonna sound redundant with the same information. I mean, if you wanna hear how the shoe fits or whatever, you probably wanna go look at another video. I just wanna open this box for the first time and freak out with y'all. One thing about Kith, though, and Ronnie Fogg, y'all need to do better with the shipping, like, this shoe shouldn't have taken almost a week and a half to get to me. I'm just saying. I spent all that money on y'all shoes. Least you can do is get this shoe to me fast. But anyway, my first reaction to this shoe, I've seen it online and in pictures, but this is the first time I'm seeing it in hand. Oh my gosh. I swear, Ronnie. The Ronnie Fi collab with Adidas on the Adidas Ultra Boost Uncaged Mid. This shoe is a beast. I saw the preview pictures and then I've seen my fair share of pictures on Instagram where people are already getting their pairs, but it's nothing like having this shoe in hand. Like pictures don't do this shoe justice. Look at that prominent pattern in that shoe. Like this shoe is banana. Even though it's an uncaged, you can still feel the the support inside. Everybody's been talking about how small the ankle hole opening is, which I can already tell right now, it is kind of small, but I don't have fat ankles, I don't have cankles, so this will not be a problem slipping into. The prominence seems thicker than normal on Ultra Boost, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna wait to wear this on a cold day. It's not really cold down here in Texas yet. Like, we really don't have winter till February, it seems. I cannot wait to rock this. I love the consortium hole punches. <sighs> You got the Ronnie Fog on this shoe, Adidas on this shoe. This mid model is different. I don't know how I feel about the mid model, but Ronnie Fog definitely started it out on a good note. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be mid model, more mids coming in 2017. They probably wanted to use somebody like Ronnie Fog to give it a good push, which was a good idea by Adidas because people are gonna get that mid based off this shoe. Let's be real. Adidas isn't dumb. I'm pretty sure they know what they're doing. And Ronnie Fike always knows what he's doing. Like, I swear he's blessed with a gift from the sneaker guys that a lot of us do not have. <sighs> this shoe is nice. Definitely nice. Let me know in the comment section what you were able to pick up in 2016. What are your top five sneakers in 2016? Also, let me know what L's you took, what shoes you missed out on, which shoes you're still trying to chase down, whether it be through resale or somehow somebody's trying to unload the shoe you want uh, through retail. Let me know down in that comment section. If you haven't already, subscribe and hit that like button. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I got more stuff coming in 2017. We're going to grow this channel together. We all love sneakers, so we might as well share that box opening together through me. You can live vicariously through me. Most of all, I want y'all to be safe out there. Please, please be safe. Do not drink and drive. We want to see y'all come back in 2017 and have a good year alongside with me. Once again, I am DJ Swaver. This is another episode of Ottoman Box Openings. And until 2017, peace. <laughs>